This is our flat and we're going to install a whole house ventilation system in it. So whole house ventilation is a, a mechanical fan which supplies and extracts air from every room, room in the home. At the moment I've got extract air from the bathroom through a tinny fan which makes a lot of noise and, uh, and works on a timer with a light um, and then as supplied through the living room through basically just leaky windows and what this is going to be is a, a big mechanical box fan with heat recovery which will go up there above the kitchen uh, I've got a little plan on the computer which I'll show you uh, so this is a floor plan of the flat um, the unit's going to go here above the kitchen um, the, unit's, the ducts are going to go straight outside which I'll explain there's some acoustic silencers and then some ducts in the ceiling which go to the bedroom extract from the bathroom and supply an extract to the living room some of the advantages of this are that it's constant ventilation so it helps to remove moisture from when we're drying our washing um, it will allow me to do renovations to the house for energy efficiency such as improving the windows maybe insulating the walls maybe insulating the floor um, without risk of moisture unintended consequences this is all the kit that's been delivered Whoa. I'm not sure I'm going to get all this in the screen uh, there's basically a big cardboard box which is the fan some plastic manifolds which are all going to collect connect up with the duct work at the back there there's some silencers attenuators and then there's a big roll of duct which I've got to try and get into the ceiling so I'm going to do some investigation uh, works to work out how to fit the ventilation system so I've put two holes in the ceiling one in the living room one in the bathroom this one's the smaller of the two and um, and the idea of this was just to see what's up there because I've got a suspended ceiling so I wasn't really sure how much space I'd got or whether I can even get this bit of plasterboard out actually. Here's the hole I've made and you can see that there's timber joists screwed to the original ceiling which was a lovely Artex um, and unfortunately some coving, original coving was destroyed there and hidden by the plasterboard um, and it looks like I can sort of measure the depth I've got about 100 mil maybe 90 mil clear to run ducts um, there's actually a lot more room in the bathroom and in the um, bedroom I went for this one in the end because it's got slightly lower flow rates and um, uh, it's slightly smaller so I'll fit into my ceiling cavity well, that's what it looks like there. there's the instructions there's the instructions and there's a sort of Danish warning and this is why I've opened the box to get the mounting brackets out so I can work out how to attach it to the ceiling. It's a ceiling mounted unit. I've gone for one from Nilan. The other ones I considered were from Sky Unit from Brink and uh, a Paul unit. They're all really high efficiencies, all very similar units. We've successfully slid it into the brackets. Electrical net connection there next to the switched spur, there's a condensate drain down at the bottom which you can't, can't quite see and then the front of the unit uh, this one actually opens from the front so if I undo these two brackets we can see inside um, so they're really dead simple, just an insulated box really important that it's got really good insulation around it air comes in this side through a filter and I've got some better filters um, so that I'll be filtering out like pollutants and diesel fumes from outside or these particulates and it goes through the heat exchanger which is here goes down that way and then out into the house that way and then the extract air comes through through a filter through the heat exchanger and out and the two air streams don't don't mix and the last job fitting the unit is the condensate trap most important thing is that there's a dry trap not a u-bend and then it's connected to the mains drainage from the unit we've got two acoustic silencers, these are 900mm long, I've got them from Lindab and I've gone for the rigid ones because they're much better, um, they've got much better damping properties. Um, there was a little problem at this end where the unit 
couldn't fit the silencer in, so I've had to sort of put a piece, a connecting piece in, just to bring the silencer a bit lower. And I've connected the silencers up to the ceiling with just some metal strapping there. Um, and then they go into the manifold, and the manifold's going to connect to all the internal ducts. Um, so there's one for extract air from the toilet and kitchen, and one for supply air. And I've marked with the uh, arrows which way the air is going, so I don't forget. Uh, it's important to fix the terminal and the manifold first, and then connect the ducts up. Um, and then I've covered it to stop any dust getting in, just with a rubber glove. I've now got two ducts connected to the bathroom extract. I'm uh, cutting a hole in the bedroom ceiling for um, the supply air terminal and I thought I'd just show you how I'd uh, cut a hole in the plasterboard. So it's a plasterboard ceiling on bits of timber which are running across like this. So what I need to do is find uh, where those bits of timber are. And you can get sort of joist detectors and things but I haven't got one. So I just use a little powerful magnet and I sort of run it across the ceiling like this and when I hit a screw it sticks to the screw head behind and I've just marked a few screws along here um, so I know where the, the timbers are and I've got to avoid those um, and then I've decided where I want my terminal to be and marked it with a circle here and I'm going to cut, um, I've marked the sort of piece I'm going to cut out which is quite big so I can get up there uh, I hope it's big enough um, I've marked that out with a pencil and then I'm going to cut it with my multi-tool or a bread knife um, and I'll follow it with a hoover to try and minimise the amount of uh, dust I create because there's a lot of dust. Cut the hole, taken the um, acoustic insulation out and now you can see the gap in the ceiling and I've fitted the um, room terminal in the bedroom. Now I'm going to feed the first duct through. I've got the rod in from the other end and I've tied it onto the end of the duct and I'm going to feed it through. So the ducts come through here now, three, three supply ducts, two extract ducts, and they come through and join up with the manifold. Now looking at fitting the external ducts through the wall. Friend Dom came and helped and he core drilled through the wall with a 160 mil bit and fitted some grills outside and um, the sort of ca cast iron repro ones. They're going to let a bit of rain in and um, they're not ideal so we've put a little drainage hole at the bottom there and the holes gently slope outwards and Dom suggested, uh, which I didn't know about, sort of cementing and waterproofing the brickwork internally there so it's nice and watertight hopefully and won't let too much water in. They look great. I've actually cut a short bit of duct to go through the wall which I'm going to push through and I'm going to leave it 50mm short of the grill so that it can drain and the reason for using a, a shorter bit of duct here is so that I can get to it when I'm taping and um, it's really important that the insulation is taped to whatever your air barrier in this case, it's, it's just this foil on the insulation, but it might be a membrane. So it's really important I can get all the way around it easily. Um, and also to make sure that the gaps are all filled with insulation. Ducts are in and foamed. I've prepped all the wiring before I put the ducts in the way. So I've got power for the heater and for the, the frost protection, which is the heater here, and for the fan, just on the 1.5 amp. And then the control wire is um, Ethernet connection or a phone connection but with power and that just goes down drops below the fridge and then I put the controller down here I, I missed filming the installation of the duct connections to outside but we can see them through the access hatch so we've got the um, exhaust duct on the far side and then the supply duct on the in, in, near side here and those are both insulated which is really important both to stop condensation and also to reduce the heat loss. Um, we've also got the frost protection unit there which is on the supply duct and that just means that the um, airflow into the unit is above freezing. Some units have got that built into them. 
the last step to getting the commissioning the ventilation system working is to commission it. You'll need to get that done by a specialist. Um, they'll come with a flow hood which measures the airflow um, coming through the terminal. Um, and the idea will be to measure, match the supply to the vent extract ventilation so they're the same and then also make sure that the right amount of air is coming through each terminal. So I'll quick, just quickly show you how they take a reading through the hood. It's quite important that the hood they use is for very low air flows. In residential you have the air coming out of the terminal uh, a very small amount so we need a hood which can cope with that a, a small amount. Um, so basically you set the hood up and then they'll put it against the terminal, wait till it's to stabilise, take a reading. It's been running for two months now. Over time it's been obvious we're getting less condensation on the windows and the washing's drying quicker. I've removed the filter so you can see what it's been collecting over that time. We're not on a main road or anything but this is the intake filter. I've just put this little bit in front of it but it's pretty black. All started off um, white like that so um, yeah that's just two months in London. Um, and then on the extract filter also quite dirty interestingly, quite dusty. I now have a whole house ventilation with heat recovery system. I've pretty much finished the install, just got some painting and filling to do on the front there. I'm going to paint it all white.